Hey guys, it's DGC Garage here. I'm gonna be doing a mild street build on this 350 in a 1977 Chevy Cake. Oh, sorry, I lost the clip of me taking off the factory carburetor. However, I had to cut the fuel line because it was seized on there. Uh, and the new carburetor over there, the uh, Quick Fuel 650 Slayer doesn't require a screw in type for your fuel line. It's off of a hose clamp and a, just a rubber fuel line. The carburetor is mounted to the intake manifold now. It's just a um, cheap, generic um, performance world intake for a 350 small block. And then it's a Quick Fuel Technologies 650 CFM Slayer carb. I was going on a very mild 350. It's only got headers on it right now, so. Eventually it'll have a cam, but for right now that's as good as you can get. It's um, mechanical secondaries, uh, pretty basic. Uh, electric choke, and that's about it. All right, <clears throat> this is where we're at. Uh, intake's off, carburetor's off, we got the valve covers off and the distributor out. So I'm building up the old, or the new intake with the carburetor on it right now. I got a new water neck, I got a new thermostat, some gaskets, there it is, I got the old inlet here for the heater core, uh, obviously gasket and thermostats in there, plugged off the extra holes I don't need on this intake manifold and it's just about ready to pop back on. I pick up the vacuum line back here that'll tie to the booster and she's ready to rock and roll. So back in the engine bay now, uh, we're going to focus on cleaning up the old surfaces. Uh, she's gonna coat everything with some brake clean. Make sure it's all nice and tidy. And everything looks pretty good to me. There's no no metal shavings, no nothing. And obviously, I smell some cooling going down there when I pulled off the old intake, but that's neither here nor there. So yeah, it's all just cleaning and putting everything back on now. In uh, preparations of putting that new carburetor and intake on, I have to change the way the fuel line works. So here's the old hard line. Uh, it, it was seized into the car, so I just cut it with a pair of side cutters, and then I did a nice end with a pipe cutter over here. And now I can stick my soft line on it, put an inline fuel filter, and it should all made up to that new quick fuel car. So I'll uh, check back in when gaskets are on and intake's about to be pressed down. All right, it doesn't look very clean, but there's no ridges or anything or old material on, so I'm gonna start putting on my Velpro gaskets and some gasket made here. Uh, the kit did come with the gaskets that go along these edges, but they're a pain. Sometimes you'll put them in, put everything on. As you start tightening it down, it'll slip out. So to avoid that, I'm just gonna go straight with RTV. Because if it squishes out, then uh, you can just wipe it away. Don't have to take everything apart again. So these Velpro gaskets are the same on both sides. So I'm just gonna put a little dab here, 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 and about there. Same for this side, and then so it'll hold it while I place down the intake and carb setup. So gaskets are being held on right now by that little splurge of gasket maker. It's kind of nice, keeps everything lined up when you're about to drop the intake down. So I'm going to now run my bead along here, same on the back side, and then I can go grab my intake and carb and put it on. Test fit it up, see how it looks. All right, she's on. May have had a little mix up with the um, RTV there, but that's all right. Everything's where it should be in line. Got no complaints and, ah, oh, come on, look at that. That's just sweet. All right, everything's together. Carb is plumbed up, vacuum lines are on, all the spark plug leads are on, and these valve covers are all buttoned down, tightened in that crisscross pattern, so, I'm gonna go find a bolt that will fit in between the pedal, throttle cable, and then mount on the side of the carburetor. And then once that's on and feels good inside the cab, everything's working, full mobility and everything, I can start putting back on the coolant lines and the heater core lines, top it up with coolant from what was lost when pulling off the original intake. And yeah, I gotta find something for these um, breathers because I was told that they would work but there's no rubber there's no grommet so I might might be able to steal them off my old one that's probably what I'm gonna do but once that's all done she should be ready to go and I'll video the first fire up 
if this carburetor works because it is used off of Facebook Marketplace. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping. And it could be out to whack on the timing because kind of just pull it out and stuff it back in there. I am not a mechanic. I just don't like slow shit. All right, all the coolant hoses are on, tightened down with new hose clamps. Uh, everything seems to be hooked up. Um, I left the distributor loose for adjustments because I didn't positive I didn't put it back to the same spot. And yeah, I need to shave down the rubber grommets that go into the valve covers for the breathers. And that's about it. But I'm gonna try and fire up now. I'm gonna pour a little gas on the vent tube on the car, try and fill the float bowls, and hop inside, give her a couple kicks, and hopefully she starts. All right, test one. See what she does. Well, something feels off. Gas. All right, one more try. All right. All right, well, we fixed the massive fuel leak on the left side, put in a new distributor, and rerouted the wires. Unfortunately, they are stupid long, so I gotta buy another set or chop these ones down. Um, we tried cranking it over and playing with the timing but it was, it was wanting to cash, but it was just shooting fireballs out the carb. So I'm gonna do it properly, pull out the distributor, um, line it up with number one, drop it back in, and then go from there. So that'll give us a base, like benchmark. And then once that's done, should be ready to rock and roll and drive out of here. So we're setting timing on the new distributor. Figure we do it from scratch, make it easier. Uh, right now we've got cylinder number one, uh, top dead center. And because it's only one person here, what I did was hopped in the truck, uh, stood on the side, so I could see the valves move and simultaneously hold my foot on the clutch and crank it over. Uh, it'd be a whole lot easier just to spin the motor over with, uh, take out all the plugs and just put a socket on the harmonic balancer and spin around. But I figured this way would be easier. Either way, it's done now, so it doesn't really matter, but it's kind of a pain. So, intake's on, valve covers are on, carburetor, new water neck, new thermostat, new distributor, some plug wires, spark plugs, everything's on and running how it should. I did run into a couple of issues with timing it, which is completely my fault. Uh, it's my first time doing it, so gotta expect to take a little longer. But unfortunately, I did have one casualty. I uh, kicked the lower heater core um, exit right there, or inlet exit, whichever one it is. Doesn't matter, it's leaking right now, so I had to uh, tee off the hoses just to close the circuit no leaks so I, I do have to stick a new heater core in that's no problem they're pretty easy to access uh, i do have a new one already it was like 60 bucks so i'll toss that in probably over the weekend but yeah everything's running good it's it feels a whole lot faster it could just be a placebo effect but i i think it's moving pretty good uh, i will have a video later on doing some races against a uh, I believe it's a 96 F-150. I, I did lose to it before, unfortunately, with the stock intake, stock carb. I was spinning off the line and it was an automatic. It just beat me when I had to shift. So I'm hoping now it'll give me the, uh, the little edge I need to uh, beat it off the line and keep it there. So 
if you want to see that type it in the comments i'll start editing up the video and see when buddy can get out for a race but overall she sounds pretty good it looks even better like i think that looks pretty killer i might change these heater core lines to black just to match everything else like the chrome and black look uh and then the headers headers are pretty crusty they're just some old headman headers that were on here when i bought it so i'll probably look at some some chromed out ones stick them on there and then i got a new uh um power steering pump assembly that i can toss on that's all black because mine is leaking as well as the rag joint or the rag joint shot and then the steering box is also leaking so i got a new one of those they've been sandblasted and painted so it should make it look pretty nice and so i'll post up some clips of me uh doing some rounding.